Hi, welcome back my followers. Uh, today we will look into the means of transport in my village. We live in swampy areas so we use canoe as our means of transport. Please enjoy and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Thank you. So uh, as you could see the woman is now, uh, she already packed the coconut into the bag so she's tying it up, making a knot tightly firm and she will put it onto the canoe. They are my employees, they are a couple. So the woman walks, works with me, so now she's uh, loading the coconut onto the canoe. As you could see, the, the green's already there on the canoe. And now she will load another bag of uh, coconut again, with a few, a few greens. The canoe that we are using is about 2.5 meter long, and the, 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 the width of it could be about 0.5 meter. So now she is loading onto a coconut bag. So she has banana on the far left hand side and you have two bags of coconut and you have the greens. So the woman will stay behind and the guy will take the canoe over and she will leave the, leave the things at their restaurant and she will, he will come back and get her. So now as you could see, the guy is trying to pull out. The canoe is filled with vegetables. So he, he, there's no space for the woman, so the guy had to pull out and he will pedal all the way to his residence and then they will, he will come back to get the woman. As you could see, our house is surrounded with swamp and the water level is very high. It's around Christmas, December, January, the, we have high tide, high wind, so the water estuary has, to be, has always been closed. So the water couldn't go out so it's fully filled and it's coming back you could see our coconut is also trying to break and get into the water also so we're living in a time where it's very bad so the means of transport now it's only through canoe or not we will swim till we reach the shore and then we can get on the bus and go to town so the guy has come back and uh, to pick up his wife but then we have some more coconut and some more stuff to load. So as you could see, they already load one bag of coconut already. And there's two left over and she will... Now she's going there with some of her firewood to make fire. So the guy has to create space for the woman to jump in. So she will put the firewood and then she will jump in. So this is one of our means of transport. We have canoe. Mm, some people they don't have canoe, they borrow or they rent canoe from other people who has canoe. And then they go out fishing or they paddle, they transport, they travel. And so a cost of a canoe in my village about 200 kina. We'll be looking at $50. So there's, there's, there's people who produce canoe. They, cut down trees and they ask them to make canoe and there's people who buy. So now you see the woman is not jumping onto the canoe and they have to balance themselves so they won't fall over and now they are pedaling away. So once they reach the resident, they will take my vegetables to the market. So this is basically what we do in our village when we have high tide and mostly it's around uh, November, December, January, February and going towards March around this time the, one, the wind stops so then we have good time but now you see they both are pedaling and they are 